What are the signs of cancer? You always ask this question here in the comments and in this video, I have separated nine signs and symptoms of cancer for you to be able to seek help faster and have an earlier diagnosis, which is very important in cancer. Of course, these signs and symptoms can also happen in other diseases, in other situations, including benign diseases, which will not be cancer, but it is important that you have this alert precisely for an early diagnosis, as I explained. So let's move on to the nine signs and symptoms of cancer. And number one, unexplained weight loss. You're losing weight. You haven't started dieting. You haven't changed your diet at all. You haven't changed your routine. You're not exercising anymore. There's no reason for this weight reduction. And in cancer, as it is an uncontrolled production of some cell, this can happen. We know weight reduction can be a warning sign for several types of cancer. There are other diseases, and I'm going to mention these so you don't think everything is cancer, but there are other common diseases, even within my field, endocrinology, that can also lead to weight reduction and unexplained weight loss, such as diabetes, which is extremely common, and thyroid abnormalities, specifically hyperthyroidism, when you have too many hormones, obviously these diseases will have other symptoms accompanying them, but I'll focus on weight reduction for now. Losing 10% of your weight in six months is a warning sign, and you need to seek medical advice to understand why this is happening. The second sign is the so-called bleeding or hemorrhages. This will depend on the location of the tumor. For instance, with lung cancer, you might cough up blood. If it's bladder cancer, you can find blood in your urine. If it's in the cervix or intestine, blood can show up in your stools. Depending on the location, it can be fresh blood or black, dark stools. A change in coloration, specifically a very dark color, can also be a sign of bleeding. Vaginal bleeding can mean uterine cancer. But I want to emphasize here that any bleeding is never normal. And now you're thinking, oh, but what about blood in the stool because of hemorrhoids? No, not even blood in the stool. Even though there's a big chance it's bleeding due to hemorrhoids, you ought to investigate because it could be bowel cancer. Bleeding is a symptom that cannot be disregarded. You can't just think, oh no, I'm bleeding, but it'll pass. No, you need to investigate. Any of these bleedings require an investigation for a diagnosis and then treatment because it's never normal to bleed, except for menstrual bleeding. Everyone knows that, but I'm making a note here because I know someone is going to comment on it. So I'm getting ahead of myself here in the video. Number three, skin changes. I'm going to draw your attention to a type of skin cancer called melanoma, which is more aggressive. You need to be aware of these signs. The first are moles on the skin that increase in size. This demands special attention. Why is it increasing in size? I'm going to leave this picture here. This photo is of melanoma type skin cancer. You should see that it also has other characteristics, such as more than one color, irregular edges and asymmetry. It's different from the round moles you've seen. You can see that this one is different. It can be elevated with a bump in the middle of the mole. It can also bleed or itch but I want you to pay attention to the size. Moles that increase in size need medical evaluation. And sign number four, nausea and vomiting. Cancer can produce substances that make you feel nauseous. You become sicker. You may feel more listless, but still no cause for the nausea and vomiting. You don't have any viruses. You haven't eaten anything spoiled. You don't have any apparent cause for nausea and vomiting either. You need to investigate in more detail. Sign number five, before number five, I want to ask you, are you enjoying this video? Do you find this content helpful? So don't forget to give your like. Let's set a goal of 9,000 likes. That way the algorithm understands that the video is relevant and ends up spreading this information more. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel and start following the videos. Let's go to sign number five. Enlarge lymph nodes. What are lymph nodes? Lymph nodes swell when you have an infection. Those small lumps, for example, the lumps in your neck. You may have noticed when you get a throat infection, your lymph nodes swell up. Or else, when you get an infection somewhere else, it can happen. Our defense system does that. But what about when those lymph nodes enlarge and you don't have any apparent cause? 
Don't you have a sore throat, for example? Don't you have any infections? And the lymph nodes are enlarged. This is also a warning sign. And an investigation needs to be done to find out the reason for the enlargement of these lymph nodes. Because several types of cancer can cause so-called lymphadenopathy. Swelling of the lymph nodes without infection. Number six and another sign that I'm going to draw attention to here which is the increase in body temperature, so-called hyperthermia. Isn't it, but isn't an increase in body temperature a fever? Here's a difference. Hyperthermia is when you don't have any cause of infection. A fever is when that increase in temperature is caused by a bacterium, a fungus, or a virus, an infectious cause. But if you do not have an infectious cause and your body has an increase in temperature, Know that hyperthermia can also indicate and be a sign of several types of cancer, such as is the case of lymphomas and even leukemias, for example. And this rise in temperature has a characteristic, usually the rise in temperature is at night, in the evening. Night sweats can happen. So a rise in temperature, hyperthermia, especially at night, also needs an investigation. Number seven, nodules that grow in size. It's not because I'm an endocrinologist that I'm going to talk about thyroid cancer. It's because it's really very common. For instance, thyroid nodules. You have a nodule that's growing in size. This nodule can cause hoarseness. It can cause difficulty swallowing. For example, it can cause pain when the thyroid is palpated. So you should pay attention to nodules that grow in size not only in the thyroid, but also in other parts of the body, like the breasts, for instance, the testicles, in the case of men. Whenever you have a nodule increasing in size, not only in the thyroid, you need to investigate promptly why this is happening. And in the case of the thyroid, as I have explained, with other signs and symptoms, the doctor can also think about this possibility. Remember that thyroid cancer, if diagnosed in the early stage, has a very high chance of cure. It has a very good prognosis if diagnosed in the early stage. So pay attention to your thyroid, to your neck, if you have any lump, any nodule, because that requires investigation. Also remembering that most thyroid nodules are benign, they are not cancer, but the doctor needs to make this distinction to know with greater certainty. And signal number eight, weakness, malaise, decrease in physical fitness, you are no longer able to exercise the same way because several types of cancer can cause anemia. In fact, these are symptoms of anemia. Cancer can end up altering the production of blood cells or due to an increase in consumption and can cause anemia. And anemia, iron deficiency can also cause it. Vitamin B12 deficiency, folic acid deficiency. But putting it here in the signs and symptoms it's one of the frequent signs, those that I specifically discussed for anemia. And symptom number nine, which I also want you to pay attention to, is progressive pain. For example, you have a headache. You've always had headaches. And from one month to the next, you felt that it got much worse. You're having to increase the painkiller medications. You can't control it anymore. You feel that this pain is increasing each week. Well, it's a warning sign that also requires a more detailed investigation. Another type of pain is abdominal pain. You have pain in your stomach, and that pain is also increasing. Every week you feel that this pain is getting worse. More and more you have to take medications, and this pain ends up not subsiding. Progressive pain always has to be evaluated. Well, if the pain is getting worse over time, it can also be a sign of cancer and needs special attention, especially for a diagnosis in an earlier stage, as soon as possible. On a scale of 0 to 10, what rating do you give this video? If it's 10, I'll make more videos like that. Also, let me know in the comments which city you're watching this video from, which part of the world you belong to. I'm speaking from Porto Alegre. Now I'm going to leave a suggestion for you to watch. It's a video where I talk about bowel cancer, colorectal cancer. There are three mistakes you can't make that increase the chance of you getting this cancer. I also talk about the most frequent signs and symptoms. Click here, you'll be directed to that video, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Best wishes, see you next time.